Yeah, so last night in the middle of the night, I got up to go get wood and I had to go to the bathroom really bad, so I just peed right by the wood. I, was I probably not, walked on that well, one. Well, <laughs> I was not going to walk all the way down here by myself. Right? Mm -hmm. Spooky. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, when you, you do what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. We've been talking about what if we right. need to do this, you know, so. Okay. And you know what? My name is. I know. If she played an idol, it could have been anything. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But we were, we, she was talking to everybody and putting everybody's name down. She told me that uh, everybody was, was uh, gunning for me, but we should vote for Corey. Um, and she was get, putting everybody's name out there. She told Sandy a different name. She told Caitlin a different name. Ball, I went into the cup next to it. Oh, I was yes. like, yes, yeah. I'll take it. A twofer. Yeah. I hit the same cup back to back, but yeah, the ball bounced into another one. I was like, thank God. It was kind of a scramble after we lost and everyone was talking to everybody and I felt um, nervous that I, my name may be on the chopping block. When I talked with Corey, he really wanted to throw another name out there just in case Steph had an idol. Um, and so I said I would do it even though my gut told me not to, so I put Paula's name down. Um, and I hope that didn't ruin any trust of I got a boat in there. I was totally shocked that I got a boat. Um, but they thought she had an idol. And I had told them she doesn't have an idol. I knew that as a fact. But I think, um, and I know Caitlin came right out and told me she voted for me. She is a doll. This has been an incredible experience. I have me too. Surpassed. Uh, you know, I know. Beyond Same here. what I Same ever here. thought I would. So <laughs> I, you day so one, me too. like I didn't want to be there. I figured I was yes. gonna go home day uh, day one. Yeah. Yesterday. When I walked yeah. home day well, one. And I minute one. I guess. A month ago. But my driving factor to win the game, honestly, is uh, you know for the charity. Um, it's you know it means a lot um, to me. Uh, and what I'm doing it for, and that's why I'm here. So, just it's worth it. And it's, you know, one weekend of, you know, discomfort compared to what a lot of people are going through. So, but yeah, I'm doing things that are so far out of my comfort zone. Yeah. And every once in a while, I see my daughter out there, and she's just giving me a, you Aww. know. And I was just, smiling at her at Tribal yeah. last night when we went in with the merch truck. Oh, you'll have to show me who she is. Oh my god, she is, she's like my best friend. And I just was thinking about how I really didn't have a voice in the game. I, I was new. Survivor is new to me. Let me tell you, Live to Give is what got me involved, got me hooked on Survivor. Not Survivor, hooked on Live to Give. It was the other way around. Oh, I really want to win. I know that it's a long shot for me to win because of my gaming abilities, but I got the awareness that I could raise. And I will, I will let everybody know, but this experience has just taught me so much. I have been in the business world for 25 years. I've been against presidents and CEOs, and this by far trumps any of that stuff ever. This, will, this is the highlight. From marrying my husband and having my daughter, this is number three in my world. She's like, she has team full 
Pola. Oh, okay. <laughs> she made sure. Oh. She made sure. It's, yeah. it's, so, so it's, cool. but she's watching me, and I know the other day she saw me work. I was just so hot and yeah. so tired, and she looked at me, and she's like, Last day and a half-ish, um, not being able to really eat anything um, and being inconsistent in the food that we're given, it is extremely difficult. I haven't ever felt this tired and exhausted and hungry and what's interesting is the hunger sometimes just goes away because you're so tired and exhausted um, and then it hits you at other points and it's really, really difficult. So with um, playing for my charity, The Sheridan Story, understanding that kids have no control over not having food at home, um, that's tough to think. It's tough to think about. Um, and I've only gotten through for a day and a half. So hopefully some good amount of money can go to kids who don't have that food. <laughs> And then if you guys just want to take your your, your ugly your, buffs off, your buffs back off, so because that round is now done. We're friends again. Yeah. We're friends. Oh my god, I didn't incredible. see a like, Katie back there, and I was like, wait, did y'all vote somebody too? <laughs> oh my god, I was like, wait. Eight? How was tribal? What happened? That was it. Was it dramatic or was um, it easy? There was actually a kind of spread of votes. Uh, yeah. Steph had like thrown out everybody's name to somebody else. Literally, like, because we all, they were doing confessionals with us, so it was like a pair, a pair, a pair, like, talking. Uh -huh. And she literally had said, like, I think all four of our names yeah, to four. one other of us. And then she went to do her confessional, we all kind of figured out that she had literally just pitched <laughs> all four of our names. Yeah. I actually feel pretty sad seeing stuff gone. Um, me and stuff got really, like, we just, you know, she had my back and, um, it was good to have someone like that with me, like someone that I just knew I could count on. So to see Steph gone made me sad. We can move this. So do you uh, play beer pong in the pro circuit? Or, uh... <laughs> Literally. A lot of practice. I told them all, I'm like, I will do it, but I'm better when I'm drunk. <laughs> this is the tough part because I know I want the Malak five to be the final five. So that's me, McPhail, Sandy, uh, Brian and Caitlin and I honestly don't know what I would do from there. Yeah. That's it. If it's just overly vile and disgusting, I, I wouldn't mind. I'd eat caterpillars. I'd eat, you know, like the, stuff like that. Stuff that like something stuff like, oh. like, like, like head cheese. That's it's like, that's just so, it's like. I think as far as jury management goes at this point, I think Josh, uh, Maris or Katie all have a really good chance of winning um, if they make it to the end. I, I feel like the jury has caught on to the Malak Five working together. Um, so I think they're rooting for anybody but one of us. So yeah, I think even Paula, I think if Paula sneaks in there and sits with two Malak, she's gonna win. Um, so it's tough. That's who I was talking to. Oh. Just gotta re, I gotta tighten back up with my old people and then I gotta try to pull in Josh. Josh and I are gonna, we're going to be our big, own biggest competitors, but we're going to really need each other. I think Josh is going to go as far as I go, and I'm going to go as far as Josh goes for the most part. Um, you know, maybe a vote or two apart, but if they decide to, if, if the girls get together and decide to take out one, you know, it could easily just mean both of us if they're smart. Um, so we'll, we'll have to see. How one of them is going to want it. They yeah. have to flip. Yeah. We flipped on Danny er, way early on. True. You know, and at some point, one or two of them is going to have to do that. Okay. So you think Paula? That's what I think. The I only think. thing is like, I mean, I guess, I, I, I don't mean, think we I can. think Paula's like a huge threat though. You know, like why? Someone I don't want to sit up against would probably be Paula. She raised a ton of money. Um, she's just gen like an awesome person. <laughs> and I think she didn't really burn any bridges. Not that I did either, but. I think people on the jury really like her, and I think she would, she could take it off. Okay. Well, I most trust in the game would be Maris. We, you know, we started out in Calhoun together. We essentially, like the first hour we were together, we were like, let's, you know, stick together. 
um, and luckily that's been great. Um, also Josh, he was on Calhoun with me as well. Um, and Caitlin, Caitlin's been shown to be very trustworthy. So, the three of us basically have the power. Push Josh's idol, we expose those three, mm -hmm. and we stay. Does that make sense? So, the three so me, Sandy, and Paula, A, nobody expects it, B, nobody expects us to win any challenges, and C, um, if they hurt their, most people will hurt their game by taking one of us out because for the most part we'll be loyal and have be their number and so since we're all viewed as a number by banding together and then trying to strategically move forward to make us the final three and then we can fight it out from there. I didn't think I could play the game. I didn't think I knew how. I do. I think I know how to play this game. So it makes me feel great that, you know, after the merge, I could have been the target, the first target. Really, really want to win challenges because I think I have to, that's, to keep my name off the block. I think I'm okay for the next maybe one or two, um, but I don't want to be lax in challenges. I want to go in there thinking that I'm going to win each one. So I'm just going to try my hardest. All right, first things first, I will take back the immunity that you're literally throwing on the ground. She does not deserve that. Gently on the ground. Shelly's hungover. She is? Yeah. She had a long oh, day. Well, she's back home safe now. All right, individual immunity is back up for grabs. This next challenge is a live to give favorite and it's called touchy subjects. Here's how it will work. Each of you will fill out a questionnaire full of statements. You must respond to wait. Yes, you must respond to each statement with the name of the player still in the game that you believe that statement best applies to. Just a reminder: for this aspect of the challenge, you'll be filling in your own opinion. We then will tally everyone's totals. And then, for the next part of the challenge, we will be asking you those statements again, this time together as a group. When we ask you this time, you must fill out who you think the majority of people filled in for the given response. If you guess correctly, you will have the opportunity to remove one, what? to remove someone's life from this challenge. Each person has three lives in this challenge. Each tile is a life. And once you lose them all, you are out. The last person standing with the tile will win immunity, being guaranteed safety at the next tribal council and have a one in eight chance of winning $6,900,000 for your charity. Woo. Woo. So huge stakes. <laughs> Do you guys Question. 
Besides yourself, who would you like to see get a clue to an idol? The correct answer is Sandy. Polly, you're the only one who got it right. Sandy, you have a left. Who are you taking out? Taking out Miss McPhail, F-A-I-L. Sandy, taking McPhail. Paula, wins the meeting. Paula, come up here. Thank you. Go, girl. <laughs> so, yeah, it was good. I am so excited. I won immunity. This is surreal to think that uh, now I'm potentially top eight. Um, I didn't even think I'd get to top ten. So this is exciting, and it's and it's cool to win it in this challenge with the tile challenge, since <laughs> unanimously they put my name down that I'm playing the worst game. So who's playing the worst game, sucker? <laughs> so me, Paula, and. Um, Sandy are all, since we're in an alliance together, it didn't really matter who won at that point, like, as long as one of us did. And with the plan in place, the only person that was actually in danger was me, but Paula needed the security of... You know, I'm excited that I won this, and not to be cocky, but I'm not surprised that I won it. I really stepped up my social game when the merge came along. When the merge came along, I ended up being with other individuals and tribes that I had not talked to. And I I quickly put it into, you know, fourth gear, 10th gear, whatever you wanna call it, 90 miles an hour, and just stepping up my game and making sure that I, I'm seeing alliances and which ones are real, which ones are not, getting into conversations and really figuring out where I stand. They agree that it's like she's that was her first eligible time. Only answer that made me nervous was that everybody thinks I'm a threat to win. Um, I really thought people were gonna say Caitlyn because the red team has been pushing Caitlyn's. Um, I really thought it was gonna be Caitlyn because uh, Josh, Maris, and Katie keep saying Caitlyn's such a threat. So I, I thought it was very interesting that they deemed me the biggest threat. Um, I was a little happy that they thought I was the biggest villain, but I'm like, the villain can't be the biggest threat. No one's going to vote for the villain to win in the end. And uh, yeah, I think the jury is not too happy with me at this point, but... Like, I feel so proud of like mm -hmm. the Malak Five because I think we've all played really good games. Yeah, we've all played since day one. Yep. So, one step at a time. Yeah. Let's hope we can get there. Yeah, like, next just keep the faith, yeah. right? <laughs> feeling good. I think it's a good decision to split the votes three, three, and three at this point and try to get Josh out with as many advantages in his pocket as we can. Hope nobody freaking poops themselves. Right. If it goes, I just don't know. Oh, I don't know who question. could get plucked away though because if it goes back to if we have to vote two back to back for new oh, Well, because yeah, last season they did a vote and then they drew cards for immunity and then voted again immediately. Yes, yeah, that's horrible. But I think it would just be Josh and Maris would be the next two. 
Okay. Three on three on three. Or, yeah, they were going to vote three, and then we're going to split our six three ways. So three votes on Josh, three votes on Maris. Josh doesn't play the idol. He's out. If he does, we redraw. We vote on Maris. I don't know. You know what I, I mean? think she's a threat in the end if she gets I mean, there. yeah, she's like a really good social player. But yeah, like, which she said to go, I didn't have the best social game. We're like, I'm like, she had the yeah, best you social do. Game. Yeah, so like yeah. everyone liked her. And don't well, Caitlin. Corey's trying to split the vote three ways. And he thinks he's got three to go on towards Maris. Um, I'm like really excited that we get to talk right now because I feel like we've only been able to talk in groups mm -hmm. and like, um, like at this point, I feel like it's not necessarily tr like going by tribes yeah. anymore, going by tribe alliances. I feel like it's, you know, everyone, right, everyone yeah. goes right. for them, you know, it's trying to scramble and figure out. You, know, you meet these 21 amazing people. And I love every one of them. I mean, they're just, uh, you know, they just couldn't be better people in the world. And um, it, it gets so difficult because you see, you know, their disappointment when they get voted off. And, um, you know, everybody wants to, you know, keep going in the game and doesn't want to get voted off. So what to do, figure out what to do for yeah. your, you know, your game yeah. and not just like your tribe alliance. Like exactly. At yeah. this point in the game, I feel like it's right. So individual, which tells me that we probably should go talk to other people too. True. I honestly <laughs> don't even know what the heck to do. I was just gonna head to the bathroom, but well, I know this round. People have told me that Corey is going after me. So, and even before the yeah. challenge, people told me Corey is going after me. So, like, to me, I guess it wasn't too big of a surprise. I'm speaking in the third person. It's okay. I'm so tired. <laughs> God, I hate myself. <laughs> oh, so where does the first thing we're voting then? She thinks we're voting for Josh. This three part tier plan where there's three votes going on to Josh, three votes going on to um, Maris, and I finally said it right. Yay! Um, three votes on to Josh, there's going to be three votes on Maris, and then there's going to be three votes on whoever that side picks. But I did talk to Brian. Okay. So... Well, although, I mean... Okay. Okay. Otherwise, How I mean... How are you feeling? I don't know. I feel nervous. Well, otherwise, I mean, I feel like... Kate, like, I... Otherwise, I mean, Caitlin. If, but if we got Paula and split the vote 4-4, four, four, or tried to make the black flip this time. If we what? You're saying if we, if like me, you, and Katie, and Paula went 4? Voting Caitlin, um, and they told, well, Corey, Corey told some, like a group of three that to vote me, and the rest are voting, and Corey told the rest to vote Josh. And then after we can like explain to her like here's why we had to do that. Right. Okay. Yeah. That works. Hearing my name called out by Josh to be voted in the next tribal it makes me feel crappy. Um, I want in one way, maybe that's good. He thinks I'm a threat. And in another, I really don't want to leave the game. I'm saying if we I think I think you have to be sure the community is not involved. No, 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 no. I'm saying if we go and we vote, did you watch last season? Yeah. Last season they voted somebody out. That's how my wife got screwed. Oh, that's right. So I'm saying if that situation occurs, we need to know what to do. Tough. I think at this point, if Katie, Josh, or Maris make the final three, they're winning. Because now they have such a disadvantage against our numbers. So we know for Josh. Okay. He knows. So Josh is going to play his idol because they're winning. Okay. Right now, I'm coasting just to see where everybody's head is because I still have to build other alliances. I only met this group last night, um, you know, or after the merge. Most of them I had not even had a conversation with other than the social. So right now, I'm just kind of staying under the radar and just seeing who's where. Just no. do Maris or Josh, whichever no, the two is. Is we make it seem like we okay? 
Because they, they, they said, oh, you got to vote, and then there's no talk. I think we're going to do him, so I'll start whispering in like, your ear, your ear, oh, and I'll say, Josh, 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 Josh. No, last time it was you no talking, it was just vote. Mm hmm Well, so let's oh. talk about that. Wait, wait, wait. We need to split it for both. Because he can, we need to split it for both. He might, his advantage in the game might be he has immunity for that. You guys, but I'm saying we need to, we need to split it for both then. For this one, and if they immediately say, shut up, no talking, we're fine. Let's we not need to think this vote. We have this no, no, no. This extra advantage he has, it's gonna be tricky. So, because we, uh, we are gonna start sticking all his targets. So, hopefully, we can rely on alliances and uh, hope to make it a little bit longer. Win some immunities, Josh. Well, did they bring, Brandon, did they bring toilet paper? Can yeah. I go now? Mm -hmm. okay. Do my trust in um, Corey and Brian, and so the plan right now is to talk with McPhail, um, Sandy, and Paula, <coughs> and um, split the vote at the next tribal. Three on Josh, three on Maris, and then three will probably be on me, and then hopefully we can revote. So if Josh uses his idol. Then we'll be able to revolt between me and Maris, and hopefully I come out on top. And so that's why I'm scared that like, I don't have an idol. Like, if he plays, if they both play an idol, then I'll be Maris, um, obviously she's kind of been my closest alliance and like my first ally throughout um, Live to Give. So. Where he likes to be the problem solver, master planner, because he has his groups and now he wants to position them. So, well, I want to work with Corey, but I also don't want to sit next to Corey at the end. So, at some point, um, he has to go. So, yeah, Josh, want another idol or what is it? He want a clue. Yeah. As far as we know, it's something, a clue. And we just let they him go took poop him away. By himself. What? I said we just let him go poop by oh, himself. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you should probably so go I think find there's him. people in the path. Drink confession. So it's a, it's a little statue of a critter. So, what do you think a critter means? Like a little bug or a mouse or you know something of that nature. I'll be looking and I I've been looking and just I'm always trying to be aware of my surroundings that whenever we have a, a new challenge or tribal or something, and I haven't noticed anything too crazy. But I'm assuming that this is something new that's placed. And, or maybe it's not new and I just never thought of it before. <laughs> so if I identify the, the immunity idol that's in, in tribal, I'll just grab it if and when I need it. Um, right now, we're saying that we're going after Caitlyn, but that's not the case. We're going after Corey. But I almost wonder, I almost wonder if we should just like all kind of go with Corey because he, I don't know, like he could really mess us up and Josh is going to play his idol no matter what. So like even if we don't play Josh, I mean that's a good point. I think um, I might as well go gung-ho and try to get it. There's nine other people who could easily win. I still want to build my case for why I think I'm the best player. And Brian also been 100% trustworthy of Caitlyn. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like she would vote me off if she could or, you know, would plan to. Okay. So, you know, maybe, maybe Caitlyn's the one that needs to go next because I just don't know that we can 100% trust her. And everyone's communicating. So, like, Maris knows that Corey's saying her name. Caitlyn knows that everything that they're saying her name to Corey and so everyone's trying to coordinate so if something goes wrong I was trying to kind of take my theory and put it onto what I wanted so that way one vote wouldn't be like the death of the plan.
Jerry, come on in. We have Charlie, Janicky, Rob, Andy, and Stephanie voted out at the last tribal council. So Paul, let's first talk about the immunity challenge. I know you were super emotional when you won. You were crying visibly. Can you kind of tell me that feeling of having safety around your neck? Well, it's, I mean, it's surreal because I know that I came in probably not having the best social game. So, and it took me a while to, to get there, but I just wanted to, it just felt great because I know I had immunity until merge. So I knew I had to step up my game and get into these games and not worry not overthink it, so it, I, I can't even tell you the feeling, because I don't want to start crying. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh, you were out very quickly. Are you concerned at all that you could possibly have a target on your back at this tribal council? Yeah, I mean, there was, my name got written down a number of times um, during that challenge, and some people may, may see that as a threat, so yeah, I'd feel much better if I was Paul right now. <laughs> Sandy, at the challenge, um, you and McPhail decided to give Paula immunity. Are you concerned at all that that could have been a game-making mistake and you could be going home this round? And would, how would you feel about that if you did go home this round, knowing you could have actually worn that? I think we made the right decision. I'm really not too concerned. I'm not going to be overly confident because I don't think anybody can be 100% confident. Um, but I think we made the right decision. And Maris, so Sandy talks about confidence. Where is confidence at for you and with other people too? Are you guys like fairly confident now that you're getting smaller in numbers or is it actually less confident the more you're getting smaller in numbers? I feel like it's a mix of confidence and not confidence, if that makes sense. Because like you want to trust what people say to you, but you're also like, okay, we're at this point in the game where anything can happen. And Katie Meyer, is there an anxiety at all to the fact that there are still a bunch of Mille Lacs people in this game and it's kind of like three of you, four Mille Lacs and one Paula by herself. Is there like a concern that Mille Lacs could very well take over the rest of this game and ride it to the end if they make it through this tribal? Yeah, certainly. Obviously they um, kind of started together so they have a dynamic going, but like Mayor said, you kind of have to trust the um, conversations you've had and the nervousness can, and confidence can change by the hour, but you just have to trust people. And Corey, what do you base your vote on this time? Like, so loyalty, like, do you trust the people you're with, or kind of how do you assess where you vote? I mean, it's crazy. Since being voted out, I haven't really trusted my gut or felt comfortable walking back into this barn yet. So, I don't know. It's, it's really tough. All right. And Caitlin, so like, there's only nine of you left, and the numbers are getting smaller and smaller. When are the times to kind of make moves, or when are the kinds of times to stay safe? Because you do want to get to the end of this game and say, hey, you know, this is what I did, whether it's you were very social or you made these moves to get there without kind of just flowing and just going. That is a great question. Um, I think it, it can also depend on what the challenges look like, who gets immunity, and who's talking to who, and it is just scrambling back at camp nonstop. So it's you can make a big move now, you can wait a little bit longer, it could be more difficult if numbers are down, so. And Brian, in the midst of this scrambling, are you keeping an eye on who's scrambling and where they are, and like, is it kind of exhausting trying to keep up with conversations, or have you honestly just kind of given up and like, hoping that the vote goes where you go at this point? You're never gonna catch up with a scramble. Um, you know, the scramble is real, and it's always going on, <laughs> and you just, I think there comes a point where you just accept that's what it is and you just realize, hey, I gotta trust in the conversations that I've had, the people that have shown trust in the past, and I, you just can't worry about all the stuff going on because it, it'll drive you insane, it really will. And McPhail, how do kind of votes go now with numbers or with idols? You have idols, you have nine people left. How do idols and votes kind of go together or not together? I mean, every time you try to look at a vote, if you're looking at a target or somebody, you have to wonder, do they have an idol? And if they have an idol, who's your backup? How are you going to split them? Are you going to split them or are you going to risk it? And you have the numbers to split the votes. So you don't know if you're splitting them, you don't know if you're keeping them all together, and um, you never know. Corey, is there a risk to splitting votes? And if so, what when do you decide here's when we should split it and here's when we shouldn't? I mean, absolutely there's a risk to splitting votes. Uh, the way that people are scrambling and pairing off, you don't want to decide to split the votes and have somebody be confused. 
and show up to tribal council and be like, wait, which side of the split was I on? So it's tough. There's a lot going on and you have to pay attention and yeah, trust the conversations you're having. All right, well, I have nothing further. Brian, you're up. You've been playing both alliances, and I think people are starting to catch on to the lies. There's a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast for Josh will not count. I will read the votes. First vote. Josh does not count. Does not count. Josh does not count. Corey, that's one vote, Corey. Two votes, Corey. Corey, that's three votes, Corey. The fifteenth person voted off a book to give the sixth member of our jury. Good job, guys. Y'all can't get me without an item. <laughs> Nothing else, grab your stuff, head back to camp. Yeah. 
I am perfectly okay with being voted out. I made the jury, I made big moves, I came back into a game and literally took out every person that I wanted revenge against. So like that honestly feels good and I feel happy about all the people that are still in the game. Like they're playing really well. I am pulling for my girl Caitlyn. I can't believe my Paula would do that to me. <laughs> I really don't think I was the threat they thought I was as far as jury didn't like me. And I was lying to everybody. This is gonna be a lot more boring without the villain. This was an incredible experience. I got a second life in a game that I love. Being voted back in and having the respect of the early boot players like that, I mean, that for me was such a win. This is all for charity. Like, everyone here came to play. Like, this is insane to have this many super fans of Survivor in one place competing, and they're all playing hard. Yeah, what an incredible experience. If you're watching this at home and you think I want to do this or do something like it, do it. It's incredible.